<laughs> What's up guys, it's John and Cody, and we are extremely excited because we have a PSA blind reveal for you. And not just any blind reveal, mm -hmm. this is a five card crossover from CSG to PSA. Always a lot of fun, so stay tuned. All right, so as John mentioned, we have five cards that we sent off to CSG originally. Actually, four cards we sent to CSG, and then one John purchased as a CSG pre-graded card. Each one of these was a 9.5. However, there is one green label, which is a gem mint, and then everything else will be a mint plus. But we thought there's a good chance that these CSG 9.5s turn into a PSA 10 gem mint, and of course, we're going to demand a lot more money if they truly do gem. Yeah, it's the age-old question, who is the tougher grader? Is it CSG or is it PSA? CSG is a little bit newer to the sports card genre than PSA is. Um, and I know, especially when they were green label, they were extremely strict yeah. on grading their cards. So I'm really hopeful that that, that green 9.5, which is a gem mint, does cross over to a PSA 10. But we are Not hoping that at least... Justin Herbert. Ex exactly. We're hoping at least two, if not more, of the black label yeah. 9.5s come back a 10 as well. But... Only time will tell. Let's get into it. That's why these are interesting videos. <laughs> <laughs> and they grade the back of the card too, whereas PSA doesn't really grade it as harsh as CSG. So that's that's something to know. But something we'll to keep in mind. But that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, here we go. We have our cracked slabs in front of us right here. I'll go ahead and throw the first one on the screen. As you can see, this is a Trevor Lawrence. This is from the Rookies and Stars set. This is out of 75, so it is going to be a pink prism of the star studded series. So here it is. As you can see, it was a 9.5, which is a mint plus. I actually got this card off of eBay, sent it into CSG before all the PSA rates dropped for 12 bucks. I thought it had a chance at a gym, came back 9.5. So put that right there, and we will do this. Oof. There's the card. It's a beaut. There she is, and. Oh, it came back at nine. Wow. Ah, dang it. All right. PSA is getting tougher. PSA is getting tougher. We'll just put that right there for now. We got another one. Now, this one I thought was a 10 when I sent it over to CSG. So this is going to be a red, white, and blue kaleidoscope from Absolute. So this one Love they this gave card. me a 9.5. I thought it had a real shot at a 10, like I just said. So yeah, we'll take this off. Even the pre-grade, you thought this was a 10. Yes, even the pre-grade. Before you sent it to CSG. I thought it was a 10, so... Be careful here not to reveal ah, anything. There's the card. So, nice card. like I said, this is uh, a little bit more of a rare parallel than the others. Oh, wow. No. Two nines. Two for two. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. PSA has been watching our videos. They said, oh, watch out for these cracked ones. Let's give them nines. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so this one was a gem mint. This is the one that matters. This is the Honestly. one that matters. I bought this one from eBay, actually, as a 9.5. I think I got it for like... 68 bucks shipped so it really wasn't that expensive obviously csg has a lot lower resale value than but special emphasis on the fact sorry to cut you off that this is a green label not a black label correct so this was a gym mint yeah so there it is justin herbert turbocharged silver 10 yeah. there we go nice. Woo! i was getting real concerned that i was gonna have Zero gym mints there. I was too. Now I'm worried and about mine over here. We will see how Cody does here in just a second. Hey, I do want to say though that turbo charge is a PSA 10. If it gives you any kind of uh, like, I don't know what the word is, but if it makes you feel better, a Joe Burrow turbo charge, which we'll see in another graded card reveal, sells for like almost 200 bucks. Yeah, so I think the Herbie's a, a little bit more. I think Herbie's 250, maybe 300. So. I'm glad that that one kind of saved me there, but luckily I didn't pay a whole lot for these two cards. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks raw. And so plus, this plus the 30 piece. bucks. So we sent this in at the $30 range. So yeah. should make my money back on those, but ah, sucks a little bit. All right, Cody's up. <laughs> All right. Now that John's made me a little bit nervous, I'm going to move these cards out of the way. <laughs> just, just in case I'm going to leave. This hey, don't turbo stress charge. it. Don't stress it. Well, I'm going to leave that one there just maybe for some good karma. So this first one that we have here is going to be a Jalen Hurts Optic Hollow Rookie card. Mm. Now this one we sent off obviously to CSG together and I really thought this one was a 10. But then we went through the breaking video 
and I about had a heart attack. But I did notice that there was this little surface dimple right there. Little dimple. Hey, there you go. I'm yes. glad somebody got it, Tim. Woo. I'm glad somebody got it. Thank you, sir. There you go. All right, so that one's really nice. And Jalen had a great week one, so I'm happy about that one. Yep. So next one. Somebody who I really don't have much faith in is Tua Tagovailoa. <laughs> this is an optic as well, rated rookie. He looked good. He looked pink. good last did he? week. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Did he? So got the this, win. He did get the win against the Pats, and this one looked way better than the optic. So here goes nothing. Oh, I got a nine. Look dang. at that. Wow. Crazy. I really thought this one. Or this one was in worse condition than this one. And this one got the nine. The PSA didn't agree with you. So this yeah. is actually extremely interesting. So we had five so nine five fives, points. four yeah. of them being mint plus. Only one of the mint plus nine fives came back a 10. And thank goodness the Justin Herbert mint, Jim Mint crossed over to a Jim Mint or else and I would have been questioning everything. And thank goodness the Jalen Hollow crossed over yeah. to 10. And so really the, the two most expensive cards probably crossed over to 10. So that's yeah. that's a good thing. So not, yeah. not terrible. But it's crazy how five, I mean, four Mint Plus and then one true Jim Mint yeah. crossed over and you got and, two out of five. And you know what this really makes me think is when CSG changed their grading scale, um, they probably did kind of get a little bit more lenient. And those nine yeah. fives that we're seeing here could have probably been a CSG nine before. Right, So right. Yeah, I agree. It's it's definitely interesting to see how CSG is changing their grading scale based on other graders such as PSA. Yep. So anyways, I think this was still great. At least we didn't get an eight. I'm glad we didn't send these at the $50, $50 rate. rate. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I think we'll both be fine. We'll both make some money on this, but Thanks for joining us on this one. It might be one of our last cracking videos. For a while. For a while. That's, no. that's a lie. We're definitely We have that. actually a couple <laughs> other already out there. So. so, Thank you guys so much for joining us. Be sure to check out our next video, which will most likely be a PSA blind reveal of some non-crackers. So we'll see you then.